Hey, as you know, or for the ones that know me, I'm a thinker. I think way too much. But on, on the other hand, you figure things out, so... <laughs> Recently, I... I could train more. I mean, go to the gym and then work out, and I couldn't do that for a little while, so, so good because my hamstring was uh, uh, quite torn, not torn off, but and uh, my calf also in inside leg. Don't know exactly the name for that muscle, but the uh, calf and inside leg are not totally healed. And I was doing leg press in the gym, and I was noticing my fingers, the hamstring, and I gotta watch for how far I push it, for how far I let it go, so I don't hurt it, don't, because you gotta, where's the tear, where's the scar, it... and I was feeling, and I thought, wait a minute. When you have the muscle, you see, and my fingers are a little black because I had some wrenching, some uh, fixing. But when you, look here, you got those lines in the bone. Not very visible, physical, uh, visible, but in your muscles you also have, let's say, lines. Like, you got a bag of bread and then... The, the 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 sides of the back you see where it's uh, folded it, w it it was shaped to that and also with the muscles you feel how it's shaped and i didn't feel the scar it was from side to side and, and i think a th centimeter deep and Nothing. The oldest car from I think three years, maybe even four years back. That one I feel a little bit off, but it's new one. So I uh, Tuesday night in church and I thought, wow. And uh, there was another healing, by the way. Uh, that I yeah, testified about the pastor asked of it and he said yeah my back is straight now spine itself not totally but I'm more straight up <sighs> excuse me and I kneeled down and usually I, when I kneel down I first had to toes to the ground heels in the air and I sit on that and because I can't totally stretch it because the front side of my calves or shins are they called uh, uh, they first must stretch before I can really kneel down but now I can suddenly I can so I was like another thing happened man so many things are happening and on my job I talked about it that I don't understand that people go quickly to church and then run to the hospital they give Jesus a little chance and they run to the hospital and I think why do you do it like that in the Bible it says that so many got healed they take for issue for example the, the one with issue of blood how far she went, she went so far for it, and she got healed. So many people that went out of their way and they got healed. But we, well, we, in my eyes, the, 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 the high priest, not exactly the high priest. I mean, we are the priest. Uh, Jesus is the high priest, but 
When someone got healed, they had to show it to the high priests, the ones Jesus also talked about, and they judged Jesus. But, but in my eyes, the hospital is the high priest. They look at it and they see it's torn. And after the miracle, they see it's healed. And if they admit it, it's a miracle from Jesus or not, you know it. And at the moment, they get so many miracles. But the operation is to Jesus. He doesn't use stitches. He doesn't use painkillers. Uh, or uh, really, re. The mo the period where you, the time period where you recover, learn to do stuff. If you have a broken leg, you must learn to learn to walk. Uh, blah blah blah. All that recovery. Uh, with Jesus, you go for it. You believe in it. You fight for it. You stretch out for it. I don't want anyone else than Jesus. I don't want. I have uh, um, physiotherapy for my leg when it was torn. Man, it hurt. Then I had physiotherapy for my spine because of scoliosis. Oh my god, that hurt. Skin was torn loose so there can air underneath it. And it was all to give the spine place to stretch and bend enough but it was weeks two times a week weeks of oh so much hurt and I was like that's not the way so I go to Jesus and there I get what I need what I want and Almost no pain. Pain is mostly leaving. I can have some uh, headache because of worries. And also the worries uh, I'm letting go more and more. Not even my own strength. He helps me incredibly. But yeah. These still I can't understand too. I like him. But that he said. I should uh, shoot this one. So I can. Have it here too. I mean I thought. Is that God that tells me to. Shoot this hole for. To do both sides. And then I went to my pastor. And people have their opinion. Did you hear it right. And blah blah blah. Today in my job also. Ezekiel. 16 verse 11 and 12 George Meyer spoke about it and I showed it to my colleague and she said that's not what I mean those are not actual actual rings through the nose and through the ears no there were clamps clamps on it clamps not uh, and another colleague said through your ear does not necessarily have to be pierced but on your nose is a piercing that colleague is gonna search it out. Is this actually what they mean? And I'm like, what does it say? To me, when you do holy meal, it says wine. Do we do we use wine? No, grape juice. But there are things in the Bible. Some are actually actual as they are and some not i mean uh, uh they say women can't talk in uh, church they can't speak or prophesy but that's not the story what was going on in that moment i understand there were to say it clear there were hookers and the high priest did it with them and then they prophesied so demons and then they said if you 
want to prophesy if you get a prophesy you get a prophecy get home with your husband get it there bring it back we will test it because then there is no way that a demon in a hooker is bothering you too so to clear that up do it that way and it was i understand actually not one and two corinthian if i'm right but one two three four because it was communication and that's also with these things not everything is exactly at its stands and then you have to go back in history what actually happened what did they actually mean and then you can see how deep it is how some things are actually as they stand do i know it all <laughs> no and people have trouble with the signs and miracles with the glory on the hands where does it say in the Bible? Uh, do you know that Jesus in three and a half years did so many miracles that they cannot put it in a library? It's too much. And the apostles after that did so many. We know of healings, miracles, what are workings of power, what are signs? Science I don't know much about, so at the same time I heard uh, some say, or one person say, I don't believe uh, angels lose feathers, I never heard of it, but at the same time, even in our church that happens, I heard someone quite important say, things like that and way of dropping laughing and, and, and everything it is not good but at the same time I think how often do you come in church how often what is your how open are you I mean in Holland we're so used of <laughs> reading the Bible Singing, uh, preaching, coffee. But do you also give Almighty God that created heaven and earth and heaven is still expanding. All the things that are happening worldwide and in heaven, more people coming to Christ, more things to do for the Holy Spirit. And how much are you open to i mean they even say that uh, um, prosperity is not good excuse me then why does even jesus say give to the priest what it belongs to the and the, give to the emperor what it belongs to the emperor and give to god what belongs to god what does belong to god and uh, they got to pay taxes and said, go to the, uh, I think to Peter, go to the waterfront, the first fish, fish with a uh, coin in his mouth, that's for him. First fish with coin in, in his mouth. <laughs> like uh, we had the Sabbath rest, we say on a Sunday you can buy in everything. A couple of times the high priest came to Jesus and said, You do this on the Sabbath. He said, Yeah, my father works too. And don't you loosen your donkey so it can drink water or something? Uh, hello? He said, And David and his men, they even went in the temple and eat the bread. He said, Excuse me? So. What is the rest for the Sabbath? Actually, we have to rest somewhere in here. Out of your belly comes f 
uh, flushes of or streams of living water. You got the Holy Spirit. He is supposed to be the rest. The, the, because of him, he does everything. He's your source. He's your friend. He's your. So. Do I still have trouble with it? Some things yes, yeah, some things no. Soon I hope to go to the, the the to get ice cream on Sunday. Luigi's is as far as I know really good. Uh, Bubblegum ice cream, fantastic. Lemon ice cream, great. But that means on a Sunday. Do I have rest in me or do I need to take a day of rest? How do you say it for a hospital, for a taxi driver, for a police, for the people that work the uh, lights red, uh, uh, orange and green? What do you say for the people that work in an electricity uh, central? So we got the use of a phone and everything, so... Excuse me, that should mean that everyone that is Christian cannot work on a Sunday? Cannot do something on a Sunday? You cannot open your store for bread or... <laughs> then don't use public transportation or a taxi? Excuse me? Do you have rest inside? Are you in contact with him? He's working. The angels are working. Are you reaching out? And I understand that even the Jews may do no effort at the Sabbath. And with Easter, I'm, if I'm right, you got a long Sabbath. So, I even understand that Jesus was more days in hell for us to get the keys. Also, uh, uh, something I found out long Sabbath. So, <laughs> do you have rest? How, what do you believe? Do I have full faith? No. Full trust? No. Am I working on it? Yeah. Because I want more. And it's not only for me. I know what my mission is. I know my mission. It's not even my mission. I know what I need to do. I know the plan. I know. So I'm working on it. Blessings. Nice weekend. And. Yeah.